guys, welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. I want to do a rust removal test comparing these different products. On the, my left here we got a Vapo Rust in the middle. We've got a newcomer to the market, at least to me, Rust Dissolve and then Metal Rescue. I want to do this test because Evapo Rust has been harder and harder for me to get a hold of. Used to be able to buy it at Harbor Freight, but the price went up. It went from $22 for this container, which is about a gallon, up to 27. So that's a little crazy for me to have to pay a higher price. But you can normally get these two products at just about any auto parts store. This one here by rust which I love their paint products, is starting to take the place of Evapo Rust. And then over here we have Metal Rescue, which comes from Home Depot. All three of these claim to remove rust. Now, the question is, how much rust can they remove? This one here says it takes, you know, 1 to 12 hours. This one says you'll see it in 30 minutes. This one here doesn't have any time claims to it. Evaporust also claims to have a rust inhibitor on it, which you can actually feel after you've worked with it. And I just thought it would be interesting to find out where I want to spend my money because they basically come out to about the same price, but are they the same value? In front of me, I've got several different types of metal at different states of rust. We've got some collets here. These are J2 collets. They're actually not rusty. They're just coated and I thought it would be interesting to throw them in there. I've got a rusty drill bit that I cut up into three parts. Um, some steel here, some really rusty pity chain, and over here was just some um, hot rolled with a little bit of mill scale and some rust on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one of each of those items in here and we're going to come back every 15 minutes until we have a winner. It's been 15 minutes now. Let's see kind of what's going on. I don't see a lot going on here, but we'll pull the parts out in here a minute. This one here, the uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Dissolver. You see some bubbles, you see some action going on. And over here with the Evapo Rust, I don't see a lot of change. Now remember, this one here was almost completely clear. This one was green, and this one was kind of a dishwater soap sort of color. And this one here is starting to darken up a bit, but let's just see if we can see any changes. Yeah, a little bit. We can just wipe off. A little bit. Yes, I'm not using rubber gloves for a reason. If I find something, they both, all three of them say they're safe to touch. So this is the test. Okay, Vapo rust. I'm seeing very little here, but again, that really isn't rust on there. Let's go to some of the heavier stuff. Chain link, nothing really. Seems to be a little something coming off of that. You can just see it in my hand. Now I may be doing some cross um, contamination going from one to another, but I don't think we're going to worry about it that much. This isn't that scientific. Well, so far, just after the first 15 minutes, I'm seeing the dissolvable rust working the best, and then the metal rescue, and then, of course, my favorite, which is the evapo rust, which we'll see how it does. Now, one of the things I know about the evapo rust, especially on hardened steel, you see that line? It causes that line no matter what if it's sticking out. So it's an interesting test if all of these will cause some kind of line in them. So I'm going to set the alarm for another, let's say, 30 minutes this time and see what happens. Hey, it's been 30 minutes or a total of 45 minutes since we put the stuff in the chemistry. You can see we've got some changes here. We've got some whitening that's come on top. That's probably because when I put it back in, I rotated and it's just the chemistry drying on top. Here it looks about the same. Here it looks about the same. So let's take a look here. So that's definitely working on cleaning up 
go over on this one. You know, it's not working as well. Seems like that one's definitely better on the hard steel. Now, the Evapo Rust, one thing it claims that works great on iron and steel, but not tool steel. So um, let's see how it works here. Still got that line, didn't have the line on the other one. So there is definitely differences between the chemistry. Just because they say one thing doesn't mean it is. Wow, look what's going on here. A lot of bubbling, a lot of action. This one here, it's just, well, it looks kind of inert. A little bit coming off. Here we go. And this chemistry is definitely starting to darken up a little bit. Here's the chain link. So this metal, well, there we go. Let's swipe a little bit more. Definitely changing a little bit. And actually starting to develop an odor, so it's probably not as inert as they would like us to believe. And it says it starts working and you'll see a change in 30 minutes. Well, it's 45 minutes. We're definitely seeing some changes here. We're seeing a lot of bubbling. Kind of excited that we're seeing some sort of chemical reaction going on here where the other ones just kind of, well, just lay there. Let's set the alarm for another 60 minutes. It's been a little over two hours now, and the results are kind of mixed. There's some good things and some bad things. I look at the uh, collets. One of the things I don't like about the evapo rust is if it's sitting above the water line, there's definitely some marks left behind. I think um, when it's hardened steel like this is, it can only sit in there for maybe an hour before it starts to develop a black coating that's very hard to take off. It took a lot of work to rub that off with an abrasive pad. The chain links look kind of the same. Mild steel, you know, again, it's interesting that I think the center one, the rust dissolver acts a lot faster. And if it's left in there too long like it is here, it just starts to get dark. It gets that coating on there that's hard to take off. The chain links are pretty much the same. No surprises there. The drill bit is definitely cleaned up here, but it has that black coating on it. Here we still have some of the rust still in it. My evaluation here is that the rust dissolver seems to work quite a bit faster and more efficiently. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put all this stuff back in minus the collets, and just see what happens overnight. So I'll see you guys in the AM. Good morning. So this, these items have been sitting in here for about 18 hours. Some interesting effects have kind of happened. You can see actually where the different parts are in their material by little bubbles, little outlines. It's kind of cool. Now something else I noticed last night is one of my hands, my left hand, Definitely got some, I don't know, I don't want to call it chemical burn, but my fingertips actually felt like I had super glue stuck on them. You know how it dries out and becomes kind of crusty? Well, I am suspecting it's coming from rust dissolver because I've worked with these other two before in the past and I've never had any problems. Let's talk about the conclusion here. Let's pull out some of the parts, just kind of see what they look like in comparison after 18 hours. They all work, they all remove rust. I think rust dissolver probably is the most effective but it is also the most toxic. I've been using Rusk Rescue or Metal Rescue for my last couple rounds and I hadn't been happy with it. Now I know why. I was leaving the metal in way too long. This works in about one hour to two hours and that's all it needs. That's all you have to take it. Um, I've had a lot more success with Evapo Rust in the past 
but evaporust is great if you want to leave it in for a long period of time it looks like. All of them did about the same on the worst part which is this rusty chain. Everything else is kind of the same, the drill bit, you know, everything got removed off the drill bit. They all leave kind of a black crust behind or a black soot, actually black soot is a good one. You know, it's kind of a toss up of how you want to look at it. This is the fastest but most toxic. This is, you know, works really well in a two hour period but after that the black soot becomes so strong on it that it's hard to remove and I'm talking about my past experiences. Evaporust is slower, far less toxic than the other two in my opinion. So it's kind of a, a toss up. I don't think you can really go wrong either way. I'm going to explore some more with this one just because it acts faster it's, but it is more toxic and that's probably why it acts faster because we all know that toxicity seems to go along with effectiveness. Too bad, isn't it? I wish we could go all organic and they worked. Well, there's my conclusion to this. It's really kind of a toss-up. It's whatever you guys like. I do know this has a rust inhibitor that you can actually feel on the metal so it prevents it from rusting after you've pulled it out. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, they all work. So there you go guys. Sorry to be so inconclusive on my conclusion, but there really is no right or wrong on this one. All three of them work. They just work in a different way. If you like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Also leave me some comments. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can click on a link on my YouTube page that says support this channel or something like that. I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys. Until next time, go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.